Yeah, uh, initially, well, my last fight when I won, I put, I put on a MAGA hat in a cage. I opened and I read a chapter of Triggered inside of the cage. <laughs> so and then all, of, all of the people that were cheering for me, half of them started booing. And I was like, oh, how quickly you can just jump, jump off, you know, all these, fan, all these fans are bullshit. That's, you know what? I love haters. Bring me, bring me more haters, you know. I, I, I love them. Uh, and then <clears throat> what really happened with me, like, with me just being real, not just playing, playing into this narrative of anti-Trump bullshit narrative that, like, spread by this media and then people just buying into it that people don't even have like if you if you have some sort of beliefs and you have to uh, adapt to the majority and by majority we're speaking of this celebrities and stuff and this like models and actors and shit but they're not even a majority they're just loud enough and people feel like oh in order for you to progress in life you have to just follow or like you have to be with them for some reason they, and they forget about the regular people so they just they give up on their own principles, on their own morals, on their own belief, and they just go and and sing an anti-Trump music, anti-Trump song, whatever. <clears throat> For me, I just I really liked the people booing me and then uh, leaving my life, to be honest, because like I have people, a lot of people unfollowed me, like around thousand people already unfollowed me on Instagram, um, and I love it. Because I'm, it's not really them unfollowing me. It's me filtering out negative bullshit, fake people out of my life, and that's unfortunately that's exactly how it is. Like this is my harsh words towards these people. You know, I love them. I, whatever. Like I let them. Let them. Haters are good. I, I welcome them all the time. But I I kind of filtered filtered all the shit like this. So and then in UFC, for example. Because Dana White is pro-Trump, Dana White loves Trump, and then people in a in a fight business, they're men. Like you know, you cannot be fake in fight business. You can't be a bitch in a fight business. You have to be a man. You have to have testosterone. You have to have balls. <clears throat> and by that I mean not just uh, like I. We have to have balls. It applies to females as well. So it's just like the figure of speech, and then. When you go there, people that are against Trump and all these haters, like you don't, you don't, see, you don't hear them. You you know they're there, not as many, but they're staying quiet, which <laughs> would everywhere, yeah, which would everywhere else it would be opposite in NBA or NHL or whatever, all those <clears throat> bullshit places. 